Welcome to the 2021 Florida RV Super Show. Today we're going to go exploring through Class B's and we're going to take you into three examples that are very different. Now Class B are basically vans. So what you're seeing here is a Mercedes Sprinter van that's been converted. And Class B's just because they're made on a van don't think they're inexpensive because we're going to show you a couple examples and what they really do sell for. This one is uh, called an American Patriot. It's by the same team at Rev that does American Coach. All high-end motorhomes and you can see this one is high-end. To me it actually looks like limo quality finishes. They are so beautiful. It, it's very meticulously crafted, burled wood everywhere. And again, based on the Mercedes chassis, with all of the safety features, the large screen on board for navigation, nothing but comfort up front. You have the additional seat mid in the, the middle, your kitchen, all broiled wood, solid surface countertops. More seating in the back. The rear seat is power operated and folds flat for a bed. Your air conditioning up there at the top. Once you're all the way in the back, there's a nice flat screen TV mounted on the wall. And right inside this frosted glass door, is a wet bath. So this Class B is definitely designed for luxury travel. It sure is. Now for a different type of travel. This is the Overland Storyteller. It is a very rugged Class B, still a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, diesel engine, but four-wheel drive in this configuration, so you can take this anywhere. Think back country. Absolutely. This will take you places you couldn't get to in any other RV. From four-wheel drive to knobby tires, this has an energy storage system with a high output alternator that gives you enough energy that you can power your air conditioner through the night completely off grid. And you also have a uh, diesel fired heating system just like you have in the big diesel buses. There's a portable cassette toilet, microwave, refrigerator, 13 and a half BTU air conditioner, bug screens at the doors so you can have the doors open for the air to come through. Nice armless awning for a lot of shade. You can see this setting in the desert real easy. You sure can. There's also storage on the roof and a ladder rack going up to it. Now the cockpit again, all Mercedes. So you still have the same safety systems, the large screen, navigation, the seats turn around so you can use those for seating inside. This has the, they call it a Dreamweaver bed and a Groove Lounge convertible sofa. So here the sofa is laid out for sleeping but there's also a Murphy bed there along the left hand side that drops down and makes a bed suspended up in the air. Very nice. Really amazing use of space. It holds 21 gallon of fresh water, 24 gallon of gray water. The finishes are very nice too. Mm -hmm. Very ruggedly made, but very livable. Mm -hmm. 
and all your con controls for the uh, uh, solar very nicely done and very rugged that's right <laughs> now this last one is a brand new in fact it's being shown as a prototype it's a Winnebago Echo and this is a B plus and a B plus means they've taken the van front end but they've extended the width and the height of the box behind it this is on a Ford Transit gas V6 chassis four-wheel drive so designed for rugged off-road nice outdoor kitchen with the refrigerator freezer two burner cooktop water to your sink they've made the propane in removable tanks so you can take extra tanks with you and you don't have to go back to civilization to get your propane filled look at that storage in the back that's incredible one of my favorite things on this coach is this awning it starts in the middle of the back it goes all the way around the corner and all the way down the curbside lots of shade plus it has the regular large patio awning on the uh, the campsite great wet bay Now this particular unit is set up with a generator and one lithium battery pack. But we were told that it is going to be available with two lithium battery packs and no generator if you'd rather configure it that way. Again, very, very rugged, ready to hit the trails. Now, while this does show that it's a prototype, we were told that they'll be starting production on these around June. And uh, they were actually taking orders off of this unit at the show. So if this is something you like, definitely see a Winnebago dealer about getting your name on the list. Now, the tables are right there forward facing seats for four and they pivot to make that dinette your kitchen area is here with your indoor kitchen microwave and sleeping accommodations in the back that is actually under one of the twin beds in the back Plus, there are pieces that go in the middle that you can make that into one large bed if you'd rather. And going from the back towards the front of the coach, you see you have a workstation table in front of the passenger seat there and your dinette table between the driver's seat and the other two passenger seats. It's very... Um accommodating for uh, traveling long distance and it's amazing how much you can put into a small package we thank you for joining us on this tour of class b's we hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't already subscribed please do so and if you've liked the video give us a thumbs up and keep watching for more tampa super show videos coming soon and thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.